Hi watch buddies. The video today will feature another beautiful watch by Eterna. This is the Contiki Forehands, a very special, unique, exquisite watch. So before we go into detail about this amazing watch, the specs are as follows. The case is 42 mil diameter. It is 120 meter water resistant. It has an anti-reflective sapphire glass, which is super clear. It is powered by the ETA 2836 movement. The bracelet is 22 mil wide. The case height is just 11 and a half mil. And lug to lug is 46 mil. Now a quick mention on the, the name Contiki. Eterna do quite a few watches with this unique name Contiki that comes from the expedition by explorer and author Thor Heyerdahl. And in 1947, he crossed the Pacific on an expedition and um, to Polynesia and the raft was called Contiki. And that's where the name comes from. And now he wore the original version of this watch the whole expedition and it never missed a beat. So this is in celebration of that. And uh, like I say, they do quite a few different types, to different divers as well. One of them, which I have already featured in this channel, is the Contiki Diver Vintage 1973, which is a very beautiful, big diver watch. So check that out if you want. Now this watch is not a diver, it's a more of a sort of sports watch but it is so beautiful, it really is, and it's exceptional build quality. It's um, a very luxurious watch. And obviously the most unique part of this is that middle dial there with the date. This date wheel is quite unique and um, a clever way of showing the date, which I have seen similar dates like this, um, arrangements like this on Oris watches, for example, the pointer watch. Now this one, I think the hand is concealed by the minute hand, so let's just move that out of the way. Or the hour hand rather. And there it is revealed. So you can see pointing at 27 is the date hand. So obviously today being the 27th and um, you just move that in the same way you would normally move or adjust a date on a watch it out to the first position and then turn it. Very simple but really nice unique way of showing the date and very easy to see. Yeah, it's just changing the time normal fashion. Nice smooth action. And you can see the Polynesian inspired textured pattern right in the middle of that dial. And you've got the Eterna logo and Contigi Eternomatic sort of on a raised plaque. And then you've got the famous five ball bearings there above the Eterna word. Now the indices are really beautiful. They're um, obviously you've got the silver chrome finish look on the batons there and each hour marker has a triangular baton with the loom pip in the middle apart from obviously 12, 3, 6 and 9 which have these huge loom filled triangles which really are bright at night but they stay green throughout and they look very distinctive and that harks back to the original vintage version of this watch. And the second hand goes right to the edge of the dial with a little diamond shaped loom filled section at the end there. The saw style hands for the minute and the hour are filled with a generous amount of loom. And the dial that sort of bends inwards at the edges, giving it a, I mean, it's already a quite a textured, busy dial as it is, but that gives it an extra bit of dimension. And you've got a domed 
finish to the sapphire. And I love the, uh, the big green markers with the chrome edging and the silver finish of the numbers sitting proudly on top of those markers in a raised finish. So it is one of the most interesting, intricate textured dials I've seen. So much going on, but it's all done very well and tastefully. It's well balanced. It's not over the top and it's very simple to read, even though there's a lot going on. It's not a dial that you can't read. The case is very well finished. You've got brushed finish on the top of the lugs and then super highly polished sides of the case. Flawless and the screwing crown has that logo repeated again with the five ball bearings inlaid in this sort of black enamel type finish. The bracelet is really solid. It's a very good bracelet. It has a really nice clasp. Very firm, chunky, solid clasp that fits in perfectly with the rest of the bracelet. A lovely action with a nice deep engraving of the Eterna logo on the brushed finish of the, of the clasp. The whole bracelet is brushed apart from the edges which are polished to reveal these screw pins which is the one big negative of the watch for me because these are double sided screws which I haven't come across in all the hundreds of bracelets I've sized in the past. I've never come across these and I know there are a few watches out there that, that do this. And uh, I was a little bit concerned about how easy that would be and it was not easy. You need, you need two screwdrivers, one to hold it in place and the other to screw the other side. And with a bit of patience you can do it but it does take time and it is very fiddly. One of the screw ends is a tiny little screw that fits into a much longer bolt that goes most of the length of the or the width of the link. That little screw fits inside the other screw to hold it in place. But once it's done you forget about it and it's uh, a very good bracelet, very solid and the links are very smooth and hang down nicely and, and there's no rattle of course, just very well engineered. Now let's move on to the beautiful case back which displays that Contiki raft in a very detailed embossed engraving. Really high quality. And it's all in a brushed finish apart from that polished ring around the artistic depiction of the raft. So that gives it a nice contrast. Beautiful case back. Now this particular version does come in a silver dial as well, which is equally stylish. I'll show you that quickly. That's the silver one there. Very smart. Now I just want to talk quickly about Eterna. They do make exceptionally good watches. They are a proper luxury watch brand. Every Eterna watch I've ever handled has always felt superb. The quality is up there with some of the highest end mid-range Swiss luxury watches I would say definitely better than far better than Tissot, Sertina you know probably even better than, than Oris I would think but they are not 
that popular. They, I've read about a lot of people that never heard of the brand before, which surprises me, especially as they came up with the ETA movement way back in the old days. So it's always been a bit of a mystery to me as why the Turner is not that popular or well known when they make such high end watches and such have such a rich history. It must come down to the marketing, but they are one of the best in my opinion. And they do make some really attractive watches. They do, um, apart from the vintage Contiki Diver, they do another Diver watch, which is a more modern version, which is absolutely stunning. And uh, again, the build quality is incredible. This dial really is mesmerizing. It's so pleasing to the eye with that rich black dial and the silver highly polished markers combined with the beautiful green color of the main hour markers. It stands out and um, really looks the part. And with the anti-reflective glass on top, it really pops this watch, it really does. You can see the quality, absolutely amazing. Now, this watch retails for around about $2,000, which is not cheap, but it is, um, it is a watch that feels that kind of price when you have it in your hands. If you're lucky, you might be able to find a deal um, on these watches where you can get it quite a bit cheaper than that. But they're not often discounted, so you can find plenty of them online for around about that part, $2,000, £1,800, but um, there aren't many that are reduced in price, which I suppose goes to show that that is a true reflection on the watch. It is worth that money. But it's all as sweeter if you can get a good deal. Now this watch pretty much has everything I look for in a timepiece. It is a Swiss made automatic. It has a beautiful interesting textured dial, very well designed. A good size 42mm, not too small not too large it has very good illumination on it got a screw down crown a beautifully designed case back a very smart well-engineered bracelet domed sapphire glass which is one of my favourite features is a domed glass. I do like domed. Easy to read dial and it has <clears throat> a unique feature which always adds a little bit of something to a watch. A bit of a talking point. So let's get it on the wrist and show you how that looks. And as you'd expect that sits perfectly on the wrist. Curved lugs, slim case, excellent bracelet, just a very stylish, classy looking watch. So now let's check out that uh, amazing loom. So to sum up, should you buy this watch? Well, if you can get it at a really good deal, definitely get this watch. You will not be disappointed. At the full retail price, it's still worth it, but being a brand that is still not that well known, you might you might regret paying that much for this watch. $2,000 could be spent on a lot of other timepieces with 
a more recognized brand if that's what you're after. But this really is a stunner and whatever you pay for it, it's worth it. Whether it's the full retail price or a reduced price, you would not regret it. So this watch really ticks all the boxes. The only negative I could think of with this particular watch is the double headed screws, which is a real pain. I don't really see the point that you can just use normal screws, which are much easier. I don't really see the point in doing that. And it messes it up a little bit as well. But apart from that one frustration, this really is a perfect watch. Thank you so much for watching. I will leave with a few more close-up views of this piece and catch you next time.